What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. It's Minty Boy here. And today I want to show you guys how to how to create a uh, distressed text in paint.net. Um, you know, it just gives it like a vintage kind of look. Uh, so yeah, I'm still kind of learning myself to try to figure it out, but thought I'd do a video um, and share that with you guys. So what you want to do is you want to get like a some text from uh, not text some get an image from Pixabay royalty free image something that has like a lot of texture like cracks and you know stuff like that so like concrete uh, this is a bit of mud here some well not really mud dried dirt um, just bricks or anything with like heaps of cracks and just a lot of a lot of um, texture so yeah you want to do that you want to open that up in a separate file um, here we've got some text hello YouTube and we're going to try and make this uh, distressed kind of vintage text so yeah come here to your main to your um, to your image First thing that we'll do is we will make it black and white, even though this one pretty much already is. Uh, and then you can also play around with the brightness if you want to make it darker or lighter. Uh, just trying to see what will be the best. try it there first normally I have to play around with it a fair bit to like get it to look good but um, yeah another thing I would suggest would be to save like once you get it good save like templates that you can use in the future um, yeah so you can the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the magic wand you can play around with the tolerance a bit here having less having a lower tolerance means it's going to select more um, like similar colors and stuff but the higher the tolerance the more like specific the color that it selects will be so we'll just go ahead and what you want to do now yeah so what you want to do is you want to grab the magic wand tool that will select all of that color because we're going to press shift we're going to hold down shift and then we're going to click on a certain color and it may take a while to load right so it's selected that color uh, we've got a tolerance 39 percent so it should um, should leave a fair bit behind we're going to press delete see how it looks so there's quite a bit left behind there it's probably a bit too much so we'll go back Put that tolerance to 46% and we shall select that again. Alright, press delete again. There's still quite a bit. Hmm. Might be the colour I'm selecting too. I might just darken it a little bit more because um, seems to work a bit better when it's darker go about 46% then we'll select part of the image again we press shift and uh, click hopefully it's good Alright, so we're going to press delete. Please be good, please be good. Alright, we'll just settle for that for now. So we're going to, what we're going to do now is we're going to go control A to select this whole image. Then we're going to go control C to copy it. Going to come over here to our text 
we have our text layer here, layer 2. So we're going to add a new layer. And then we're going to paste that image in. Uh, we're going to keep the canvas size the same. And then kind of move it around, I suppose, and get it to try this part here. Right, so now that we've done that, we're going to deselect that layer. We're going to uncheck it. There's a checkbox here. Um, now we're on our layer 2 with our text. We're going to select the magic wand tool. Again, we're going to press shift and click onto our text so that it selects every letter. And now with the image back on, we're going to go edit. Invert selection, and then we're going to click on our layer 3, and we're going to press cut, and what that does is it removes that is in the text. So yeah, um, we'll upload that to a t-shirt and see how it looks. Just have to resize it, just pause this for a minute. So yeah, it's kind of what it, kind of what it looks like on the design. Um, probably could look better, but yeah. Just a quick tutorial to show you guys how to do it, and um, still going to play around with it a bit more, um, make it look a bit better. But I think it looks all right. It's just you know when you do something yourself, it's kind of like never looks as good. But yeah. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.